In this demo I'm going to show you how to add, and delete and change records within your database. Uh, in the background you can see a worksheet within the approach uh, program that I've been working on to give you an example of changes as we go. Literally uh, also you'll note that I'm using the same uh, connection script that I used before but I'm actually changing the table to be to reflect the table that's in the background view. And it happens to be the company's table. You can also note that the company's table has an alias as well within the approach program so therefore I've, I've filtered that out as well. Uh, and there are five rows which correspond to the five rows in the background. Now the first thing I'm going to do is add a record to this particular table in the background. Um, literally all you need to do here using the same script is just simply uh, with your result set is just add a row. Uh, and then when you add the row you need to set the values of each field within that row. In this case I'm setting the company ID to be a sequential number, uh, number 7, uh, which is the next after number 6 above, and I'm going to give as a company name, which I think I just say is um, you know, new company name uh, in this case. I won't bother filling in the rest of the fields, uh, but that's what you would do to fill in the entire table as you went through. Now, so that you can see in the background, normally these changes may take some time to reset. I'm going to refresh the actual uh, database in the background. Now, when you do any work on tables, you must update the rows or the changes will not take place. So I've added our uh, update row, which is a keyword within result sets. And I'm going to add in, the, put in the line current window, refresh. And uh, now when I run this script, we should see a new record added and uh, here in the background. Obviously I'll get rid of this bug. There we go. And as you can see the new record appears there quite easily. So having said that add a record, I'm now going to make a change to this particular two-way record within the database. Now the big difference here is that uh, if I don't filter out all the record or find the record that I want to change, I actually will change the first one every time. So in this case, I want to change the record I've just added and change its company name. So I'm going to find that exact record and put that into my result set. I do this by adding a WHERE statement to the SQL statement, uh, and I'm going to search on the company ID field where the company ID is equal to number 7. This should now uh, reduce my result set to that record only. So uh, just to test that, we can go in and we can put a, a, st a break point in the, in the script. Uh, and noting that I'll get rid of all of that uh, previous because we're not adding a row. I'll put a break point just before the update row uh, command. And you'll see that our total number of records that we found is only one. So we actually have only found that one record even though it doesn't appear in the background as such. Okay, now I'm going to change the company name. I do this by setting the value of the company name field uh, to whatever value I want to put in there. Uh, I think I'm going to put change company name or change name uh, and then update the row and you should see when I run this script that particular field has been changed. As you can see, that is exactly what happened. That's uh, editing uh, records within a database. Now I'm going to delete a particular record in a database. Um, again, as with the change name, you, you have to do your search and find the record you want to delete. Uh, if you don't, then you would delete the first record of the found set. Uh, and that's not what we want. We want the exact record. And all we do here is get rid of what I had before and put in R uh, record delete row and do it. Now you should note at this point that even when you delete, and as, it, as you can see it's now gone, that uh, records that are deleted uh, in this uh, facility actually um, uh, don't compress the database. So that is an action you need to do later as well.